It is no surprise the HNC gold did eat, and my stolen cripes is out on a wander. Yeah, I'm not too fussed about that one doing something that was not one up bit far. Alright, yeah, but the HNC gold did eat, and my stolen cripes is out on a wander. Alright, back in a sec. I noticed this, and I thought, hmm. This is the Hippopus tristatus, and it's not too sure about itself. And they are quite shy um, little things. It's quite cute though, when you think about it. Bit of a standoff, really. They are roughly the same size, so I can't see why it wouldn't take it down. My mediums and smalls are really funny sizes at the moment, and they shit itself. It will get it later on, I'm pretty confident about that. Um, yeah, my medium and smalls are a bit weird at the moment, and my larges are like, me like stupidly bigger than my... Um, right, look at that, that's my large. That's the medium. Stupidly sized difference. So yeah, um, some of them are getting a bit odd sizes. Alright, I'm going to leave it be to its own demise. <laughs> oh, funny little thing. They're really cute when they're slings. Um, what? What's this? Come on. One of these, um, I can't, I don't want to say it wrong. Um, Ceratogyrus? Yeah, I think that's right. But when they do strike, they hit like a ton of bricks. <laughs> I'm going to leave them be. Alright, quite funny watching them two slingers. Um, and I'll move on to the next one. Back in a sec. These are the two T's. I never ever film them on camera because they are stupidly fast. Um, one is actually eight, and that's my HNC female. More suspect female. I've never got an intact malt as sex, but I'm pretty confident it's female. And my HNC gold, which hasn't aged yet, well, I'm pretty confident it will. Um, the HNC gold seems to be a lot faster and a lot more skittish, but I think it's a male to be fair because it's pretty skittish. And he's doing fine. And so is the female HNC. So yeah, HNC gold, HNC. Very different tees. One has a striping abdomen, and um, that's the H inset. And one is gold overall with no striping on the abdomen. Alright, we'll leave them be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Thought I'd film these three first. Um, I mean, four because they are quite small and I don't feed them on camera. Uh, where is it? That's the first one down there, my C Darlingi, but that actually ate straight away. And this is my C Sandere, which is quite fat, which is there. Quite a fat sling. There is my C Marshalli, which is there. I've crushed their head on that one. And down there is my Hippopus Tristatus. Um, which is doing fine. So yeah, the only one that's eight so far is the Darlingi. But um, yeah, I'm pretty confident the other ones will eat. They're just a bit shy because they are quite small slings. The Pope is just sad so I'll probably feed on camera, but it is quite shy. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Alright, back in a sec. So this is my C Fasciatum. Um, you did see the C Pentalo before, which is very similar. But uh, my C Fasciatum is very skittish. A lot more skittish than the C Pentel. But I think she got that. Yeah, I think she got it. But yeah, this is my C Fasciatum. Uh, she's a lot less. She's a lot smaller and a lot less bulkier. And the C pentel, 
can't see her very well. If we go to the back, you can see she got it. So yeah, I'm going to leave her be. And move on to the next one. By the way, these um, small exoterras are very good for like your um, Sacrosternum, your um, Cirrocosmos, um, Cochia brunipes. I do find that I prefer Stainies and Eclipse enclosures and um, stuff like that. They are very good for adult dwarf species. Um, probably not your Holophily Insi because they're quite sm they're a bit smaller to my knowledge. Um, all right. I'm going to leave that be and move on to the next one. So, so far, um, I haven't shown the scorpions because I just don't show them except my Luf, uh, my Lufus Deforius, whatever. Um, but yeah, so far, um, everything that's at the Popus. Oh, speak of the devil. What's that? The Plopus species Columbia large male has eight. He's chewing on the bum, but he's still eating. <laughs> so yeah, the mature male and he's still doing fine. So yeah, so far, every tea has eight. Really shocked to be fair. So this is becoming a really good feeding video. Um helps out with the bad news that happened in the tour video and um, the death last week. So yeah, doing pretty well. <laughs> Alright, back in a sec. People should be thinking now, oh, um, the Plopus species Columbia large male should be getting on by now. He's quite an old male. Well, they went for it. Yeah, he's just pissed off a lot. Come on. He seems to be... He does not seem to be too sure about himself. Um, what I was trying to say is he he's really not sure about himself, bless him. Um, he's a pretty decent eater at the moment, says so mature male. Um, seems to be doing fine. Um, very active still. Just a shame my female doesn't want to molt. Come on. I'm going to crush it and leave it in with him because I'm pretty confident he will eat. So yeah, mature male plover species can be large. At the moment, he seems to be doing perfectly fine. Um, not slowing down or anything like that. So yeah, I'm going to leave a crushed locust in there and leave him be. Because I do not want to stress him out. Alright, so I'm going to leave him be. Then you will see the female later on. Same with the pentalor, you will see the male later on. Alright, back in a sec. So this is my Cyclostin and Pentalor that's actually started to burrow. Let's see there. Pretty confident she'll eat. She's been a bit shy. Into like my sea fasciatum, she will not eat on camera. <laughs> Should eat. Right. She went for my tweezers. Oops. Definitely interested. Just a bit of a stalemate now. These are very similar to the C fasciatum except they have a slight difference. And um, they're a lot bulkier and they have a slight different um, slight different pattern on the abdomen. Uh, 
and now it's just a waiting game. No, you want the locust, not me. And you can see the tiger abdomen, which is very similar to the sea fasciata. In a second, I'm just going to. Oh, because I said that she actually bit it. <laughs> Sorted. So yeah, that is my cyclostern pentalor female, and yeah, very good feeder cyclosternums usually. Alright, and we'll leave a bit to eat, and so far, everything is a hit, salted. <laughs> Alright, back in a sec. Doing well so far, every T is 8, so this is my K bunny peas, and she is 8. Um, I think the warm weather is having a good effect on them because it seems to make everything want to eat. Not complaining at all. So yeah, cable bunny peas. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is one of my favourite tarantulas of all time. This is a Petrino Pelma Sazime. Um, spot like that. And she's called Sapphire. This is a juvenile female and she's worth a lot. <laughs> Um, crazy amount of money for these, but these are absolutely gorgeous. I'm glad she's not in a speed mood, she's more in a fret posture mood, which I'm not complaining about because these are super quick. So they come, um, they are closely related to the Nandus and Acanthus scurriers. They are very quick. And I'm just going to feed her. I know she will eat because she was just trying to attack the water droplets. Really? Really? Oh, nope, she's trying to go for my tweezers. He's telling you hi, you turd. Idiot. See if she goes for it. I ain't kill it. Just tend to be dead. And more camera time with this tea, I am really not complaining. Because she's absolutely gorgeous. And confident female, as I keep saying. <laughs> Yep, that's what I thought. <laughs> just grabbed it and she's gone straight into a hide. <laughs> what was that? So she sat down there now. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to leave her big so I don't stress her out too much. Alright. And I shall move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is the enclosure of my very quick um, Koshia Bunny Peas. Um, very nice tea. Um, really do like it. It is quite rare. And this is a female, so you can just sit down there. The locust is in the top of its burrow. Tap it down a bit. If you see me drop the camera quick, it means I have to grab it. I'm not grab it but get it into a pot or something because these are very very quick. It is a bit shy this one, but it is a very good feed in general. 
doubt it's in pre mode, but I think it's just been shy. I am gonna leave it in with it and I'm gonna leave it be. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Nemphis um, Intermedius. It was down there in its hide, but I've had to just soak its enclosure and it's come out. So, yeah, should be hungry. The locust didn't jump off. Yep. Um, these are a lot like Pamphobetius, kept pretty similar, but I always call them the better looking Pamphobetius um, because they do keep. Um, male or female, they do keep quite nice patterns um, and colours. But yeah, we uh, keep them pretty much exactly the same, very humid. And just like the Pamphobetius, they eat like pigs. So, so far, I've got five for five. This has never happened ever in a feeding video of mine. So, it's going pretty well. <laughs> but yeah, this one I keep on moss. Uh, I keep most of my Pamphobetius and, and Emphis on um, moss like. Probably like six percent moss, forty percent dirt. I just mix it up, and it seems to keep the enclosure pretty well for quite a while. Um, lasts, lasts a lot longer than other things. So yeah, that's my Anemphis intermedius or intermediate, depending if you're American or English. So yeah, and um, this is a suspect male, and he's quite skittish and quite pissy, but a very nice tea, and he's growing um, like a weed. <laughs> Alright, back in a sec. This is my Pamphobetius Ultramarinus, and I'm pretty confident it'll eat. Let's have a look. Yep. Um. I'm well, pretty confident this we're going to eat because as I was um, dripping water into its enclosure. Uh, it was going for the water droplets, so yeah, I was pretty confident about this. And I'll just show you this quickly. The C from by Petus. Oh no. Yep. So that one has eight, and the C from Braetus is actually grabbed the head. Can't really see it too well. I'm not bothered out of P on Ultramarinus, I know it won't go far. Try. Yeah, you can't really see it. But yeah, it's gone for the head. Is that it? You cannot see it at all, but yeah. The sea from Braetus is just 8, and the peel from Arinus is 8. So yeah, good start. So far, 4 for 4. And the peel from Arinus is putting a, a little web down. <laughs> Cute. Alright, I'm going to leave these two be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Now, I've just bought this tea. This is one tea I do not um, show with the lid open. This is my C. Fimbratus. Um, so, Chilla Brackets Fimbratus. It is a very fast little sling. Um, doing perfectly fine in my care. Um, just soak the substrate a bit so I can get a drink. So, I think it's actually having a drink at the moment. And the locust is up at the top. I'm uh, pretty confident this will eat, but I will give an update at the end of the video. At the moment it's doing perfectly fine. Um, webbed up a lot and I can't wait for this one to get bigger. Because they look absolutely gorgeous and once they get bigger, they'll have a like a proper uh, like hide, burrow type thing. And I'll be able to take the lid off because they will not be doing laps around the enclosure. Alright, back in a sec. Straight away she's out the enclosure. This is my Vicularia later. Um she's a confirmed female. I'm really happy with her. She's proper active. Really nice little tea. She will be getting an upgrade um to the same size as my Avic slings. Um so hopefully she'll be hungry. Yep. And she's hungry. Um Avics are really, really good feeders. Um they're not as vulnerable as people think they are. Um I haven't really had much trouble, and um, yeah, my Avic later did die, but she was a very small sling, and um, it looked like she died um, trying to molt. So I'm not worried at all. My Avix, um, they seem to be perfectly fine. This one will be getting an upgrade um, to the same as you'll see my Bronisenium in a bit, and um, so yeah, she'll be getting an upgrade to that. I only kept her in this because it was fine for the moment, and I've got some more tubs. 
and bark. So yeah, I'm going to let her eat her food and let her be. And she'll be getting an upgrade next week. Um, you'll also see later in this video a few of the teas I've had an upgrade. So yeah, look out for that. Alright, back in a sec. Hello, and um, welcome to a new feeding video. Um, as you can see, my vehicle area later has been very busy. Um, she's literally webbed up an absolute ton. I keep seeing her out, so I am going to try and feed her because I do. I'm um, not too sure if she's in pre mode. She's looking very dark, but um, I want to see if she's hungry. Let's have a look. I'm always going to drop it in. Oh, yeah, so she's not in pre mode. <laughs> I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, she took that down straight away. Um, they must just have a dark, a really, really dark abdomen. Um, so yeah, that explains why she's been um, wandering quite a bit. I've seen her about her cage quite often, like nearly every night, just wandering. So that explains it. She's been looking for food. Um, won't focus perfect, but. Um, avicularia later is quite a brown avicularia, not the most best looking, but I do like my brown teas. And yeah, so she's definitely hungry. <laughs> she's an adult female, which is shocking. She's not very big. Mm, you can see her right down there. She isn't a very big um, tarantula at all. Um, they are one of the smaller avix, and she's actually one of my favourite species tarantula. There's actually a fly stuck in the web. Um, if you didn't know, I do have a fruit fly problem at the moment, and it's gone. Yeah, I do have a fruit fly problem at the moment due to my um, roach colony. Um, so yeah, yeah, she's doing um, perfectly fine. Webbed up an absolute absolute ton, so she's nice and at home. And yeah, she's eating now. So yeah, I'm gonna leave her be, and that's a very good start to the feeding video. All right, people, back in a sec. <clears throat> Just a quick one. Um, see Smarty didn't eat the Sandra, I think it is. Yeah, see Sandra didn't eat, and the see, um, Tristat, yeah, Tristatus, whatever, Lemon Patch didn't eat, but the, um, see the Hippopus species, because I ate, I wish that had malt, because it's stupidly small at the moment, and it's just a pain to deal with. Um, both of the grammar still are grosses, eight. And I'll be honest with you, I think they're going into pre malt because their abdomens are looking a bit black and blue. Once they're malt, they will get a rehousing to them little tubs. Um, and yeah, that should be good. So thanks for watching the feeding video. Just flood the water up in my sea smart enclosure and she's gone straight to it. Um, she's doing alright, she's drinking a lot, which is always good. Um, but yeah. Hopefully she'll be doing a bit better soon. So yeah, um, that's all the eight. Hopefully you enjoyed the film video, and I'll see you in my next video. See you a bit, people. Bye. So just an update. Um, the Abram said he didn't eat. He just um, killed the locust, so I've took that out now. Um, Lassiodora stratipedes eight. Holophilus sanguiniceps eight. The alpha species yellow eight. P. platus eight. Gramosol Amphacina 8, um, P. Concertis Violet 8, um, Nandu Colorado Velosis 8. Um, she seems to calm down a bit now. She's chilled out a bit now. She's 8. And so, yeah, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yep, yeah, that's it. So, the ones that have 8 so far, um, any others, I'm just leaving them for now, like the C Smart A. Pulpus Tristatus, C. Sandra, I can't remember if there's any more, but I'll give an update on them next, and if they haven't ate, I will mention that. So yeah, um, back in a sec. Last, but definitely not least, is my centipede. You can just see its tail there. There's somewhere in there. I'm going to leave it be, don't want to stress it out. I don't want to mess with it. <laughs> It'll eat it, he usually always does. 
So yeah, I will give an update on their TVs in a couple of days, um, but for now, I'll see you in a bit. Back in a sec. So this is my last tea. Um, you have for species yellow, adult female. Um, I've dropped a locust in, it's just crushed crush the tiny bit, it'll start moving in a moment. Um, pretty confident she'll eat it, um, just when they get her back in enclosure and move on to the last invert. And then after that I'll give an update in a couple of days who ate and who didn't. Alright, back in a sec. Okay, so this is my last year there are stratipes. Uh, should be hungry. If I could get a locust in. Nope, just been skittish. Yeah, it's just been skittish. I'll leave it in with it. I don't want to stress it out too much by me interfering, but I'm pretty confident it'll grab it because it's a lassie of the door. You can see it's just under there. Alright, I'm going to leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Holophilly Sanguiniceps. You can see it quite clearly there. Just chipped a locust in. Let's get some interest. Both went into the same corner. Well, no, I'm just going to crop it so. It usually does eat, but it's nearly always. Oh! No, it didn't grab it. <laughs> but it did. It's just only mad five minutes. Yeah, it's just having a mad five minutes, but it's, we're going to strike it. Yeah, I ain't got it. I'm going to leave it be. Um, it usually eats off camera, anyway. It's an immature male, also. Alright. Back in a sec. This is my C Pentalo immature male. Um, should be hungry. He's a bit bolty. Come on, wake up. I'm not taking the lid off because he will bolt. Come on. Oh, he's hungry. He's hungry. Yep, knew he'd get it. Sack of stones are pretty good eaters, except my smart table is not in the best of states at the moment. Not due to my fault, but I'm not going to that. So yeah, um, Sack of Stone and Pentalore male doing perfectly fine. Alright, back in a sec. Um, this is my Formictopus Platus. I've actually handled this one before, it's quite calm. Um, this is a bit bigger meal than I'd usually give it, but I haven't got it. Um, all the other ones are just too small. Oh, should go back in. <laughs> they both shit the sands. Oh, that's quite cute. Should be able to take it down. Let's see why it wouldn't. It's took down about that size before. Much crush the head because I really haven't got any that are well suited for it. Look at that. This one's called Havoc because literally this enclosure was, um, I gave it a new substrate a couple of days ago and it's completely destroyed it. Yeah, it's a bit too big. Um, I'll see if I can find something that might be a bit small, but I'll try feeding it that back in a sec. 
This is Volgrim, my spa bar for a half money, immature male. Well, he's only a Julie male, he's only small. And he nearly always eats. And these four males that are mentioned in question, they seem to always eat. Very good feeders, that's why they are one of my they are like some of my favourites in my collection. But it's just shame they're males. Um, you can't really see his horn at the moment, but it is slowly getting bigger. Because this is the horned bird eater, and they're one of my favourite tarantulas of all time. So yeah, I'm going to leave him be and move on to the last of them four males I just mentioned. Back in a sec. I absolutely love this tea. This is Logan. I'm an elite. Yeah, exactly. And um, this is Logan. He's my immature male P40. So he has so much character. Um, always go because um, I soak his enclosure because um, always Pamphobetes like their enclosure is quite moist. Pamphobetes fortis, if I didn't say that. Um, he always goes for the water droplets, so he always ends up covered in water, and then after that, he always goes like a lap around the enclosure. He's a very nice tea. He's one of my favourites because he's got a lovely personality. He's a bit once he's eight because he's always hungry, but once he's eight and he's had a good meal, he's like a soft giant. He's lovely. Proper nice male. Bit of a shame he's a male, but um, yeah, he's a very nice tea. Quite calm for a Pamphobetius. Alright, I'm gonna leave him be. He's getting big now as well. <laughs> Alright, back in a sec. So this is Mark, um, my Bubomia immature male, who's my first ever tea, and he usually eats pretty well, so let's see. <laughs> yep. Typical Brachypelma. Very greedy. <laughs> Um, he's a very nice tea. Um, personally, um, I wouldn't advise them for beginners and more second teas because of the flicky hair. Um, they're a bit nervous because um, I actually went to get um, a smithy, but um, they only have this. Um, so it was like, do we get it or do I wait? And I thought, no, I'll get a bow me because I'm pretty confident about it. But yeah, personally, I wouldn't advise them as beginners just because they're skittish and they do like to kick hairs. But um, as a second tier or something like that, they are absolutely perfect. Um, but yeah, I'd rather P I'd rather advise B Smithy, um, B Albop, uh, stuff like that. Um, but yeah, you're getting sidetracked. <laughs> but yeah, eats all the time. All right, back in a sec. This is my Phenictopus conservatives violet. Um, should eat. If you don't want to come out. <laughs> Quite a nice little sling to be fair. Never gives me too much trouble. Very good eater for Mictopus slings from what I've noticed. I've had Juvies before but never um, slings and this one seems to be doing perfectly fine. Again. Locus had moved, we could probably go for it. <laughs> Daft little thing. Mm. I'll put what drop it's in a sec, cause it's actually on the side, I make noise. Come on, come on. <laughs> Daft little thing. I'm gonna leave it in with it, if it, while I'm giving it water, it eats it all. Put the camera on quick. All right, back in a sec. This is my Crapodromus Puri skull. Um, we got clean substrate the other day, and it hasn't borrowed since. I see it's hungry. Don't jump. Stand off. Or not. He's a very nice species, not too fast. For a dwarf. Oh. Definitely interested. Go on. Basically locked on now. Come on. 
can see the triangle slowly starting to appear on the carapace. No idea what sexist he is, it's probably going to be a male known Malwog. Yeah, and it took it down. I knew it would. It seems to be a pretty good feeder, no problems at all. So, uh, this is Cryopedidromus puris scal. Alright, back in a sec. I don't know if you saw that, but I've just chucked in two crushed locusts for the 2G grocer. Um, one ate straight away, and the other's a lot more shy. Um, but if I'm honest, I think that's the one that ate last week, and that's the one that didn't eat. So, at least that one's ate. So yeah, these are coming along perfectly fine, no trouble. And we might need the substrate changing soon, because it's getting a bit moist. Except that, no problems at all. Alright, back in a sec. So this is the smallest TAM. It is a speck of dust. As you can see, it's just there, just there, next to, in between the locust and my finger. Um, it does chew on the locust, and I just remove it after a couple of days. I think I might actually go and do it now. Yeah, see what I mean? This is a speck of dust. And as long as the locust is crushed. Little munch, and it's not bothered. <laughs> so yeah, see what I mean? It's just pulling the leg off. Then it'll probably just eat a leg or a bit of the body. Then my camera will not focus. It's a bit better. So yeah, this is proof that if you crush the locust, the sling will eat it. It's not bothered. As long as it's dead. Even something as small as this will still eat. So yeah, just thought I'd show you it. Back in a sec. <laughs> so, I've just flooded the enclosure a bit, bump up the humidity. Um, this is what I got greeted by. So, she's not happy bunny at all. I'm going to throw a locust in and see if she actually eats it or just strikes it. But at the moment, she is not a happy bunny. She tries to strike anything. As you can see. <laughs> not happy at all um, but the burst of humidity should calm it down a bit um, I will chuck a locust in a second see if she eats I doubt it because she's not happy at all alright back in a sec so this is my Nandu Chromatis um, she's a lot more calmer than my Colorado Velocis at the moment um, she's just a bit skittish she usually eats every time so let's see if she's hungry Oh, it escaped. It's on the run. Along with locust, they jump. This one's quite an active one. Yep, she got it. So yeah, Nandus and Campus Scurriers are very good eaters. Kept similar, I said Nand I'd said Nandus are kept a bit more humid, um, not by much. Um, but yeah, she seems to be doing perfectly fine. And these Braplast tubs seems to be doing really good for um, your dry, um, dry to a bit damp juvies. Um, so stuff like my... Nandu, Campuscuria, Uafis would do well in them, Gramasolas would do well in them, stuff like that. But your burrowing ones would do better in stuff like that. That's why I keep my burrowing juvies or more humid juvies, because ventilation is a lot better. So yeah, I'm going to leave a bit to have a meal, and now move on to the I'll move on to the spawn from hell, which is a little bitch at the moment. So yeah, back in a sec. 
So as I always do on the middle shelf, I always start out with my adult female GBB. Um, she seems to be doing absolutely fine. Um, and she usually jumps on anything, so let's see. Yep. So she's about full grown. Um, she is. I think she was the third. Erin Darcy Dora Kluge and I think one more or something were the first ever teas I actually got. Oh, uh, third. Yeah, the third tease I got. It was her, the last year, Kluge, and I cannot remember if it was anything else. Don't think so. Not too sure. But yeah, she was one of my third tarantulas. And she is absolutely lovely. I'm really, really calm. Um, no problems with her at all. Really good feeder, and relatively not bothered about anything. She's always wandering, very active, and a very nice tea. Pardon me. So yeah, I'm um, going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Just before I start on the last part of the feeding video, I just thought I'd give updates because this is the day after. One of the Bronisenis ate, as you can see there, it's got locusts in its mouth, it's literally just caught it. So, um, yeah, they do take their time. Sometimes slings, this is why I always leave food prey in with slings because sometimes they are quite shy um, no, nothing else has ate yet one of the, the other brother said he hasn't so yeah if any of them eat I will give an update on it um, I'm going to be doing the middle shelf now which is the last shelf that's about 20 teas something like that and yeah alright I'll be back in a sec this is my Lassie Adora Kluge and um, she malted ah it's two locusts Malted um, a week or so ago. We'll get that bit of locust out. And she's looking pretty awesome. She did eat last week, but she still be, still should be hungry. She's not playing stupid. Yep. And therefore, while well, she's distracted, I'll get this one. Okay, I'm going to chuck one more in, just because she's absolutely huge. Sorry about this, a bit over to you, 100. So yeah, um, she's looking very, very nice. I'm um, coming up to about a year of me having her. And she's absolutely gorgeous. One of my favourite species easily that I keep. And I'm going to leave her be. She's also the largest trench I own. Alright, I'm going to leave her be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my Pamphobetius fortis, adult female. And I will be feeding her two locusts if the locusts want to comply. Alright, so this is my Pamphetes Fortis. She'll be hungry. Yep. <laughs> She's a pig. I'll feed her one more. Since she actually out. Usually it's two anyway. She's very skittish, very fast for a bit, very large tarantula. And she doesn't mess about as you can see. I'm going to leave a bee to get that because she is very big, as you can see. So yeah, Pamphobetius fortis. This is one of my largest females and she's absolutely gorgeous. Um, she does need a good mist, but I'm going to wait till she goes into a hide. I am going to leave a bee now. I do have an immature male, which I'll be showing you in a second. But yeah, Pamphobetius fortis, adult female. Alright, I'm going to leave a bee, wait for it to go into hide, and then miss her enclosure. Alright, I'm going to leave a bee. Back in a sec. This is my Lassidora Parahai Bonner. This is going to be the last tea I will be feeding today. Um, as I 
Um, I'm going to feed the last shelf, which literally I've fed everything except the middle shelf there. And I'm going to be feeding that tomorrow. So yeah, she should be hungry. Suspect she. Yep, jumps on it as usual. Very good feeder. So yeah, I'm going to leave the teas be for today um, and finish off feeding them tomorrow. Um, but that will be in a second for you lot. So yeah, I will see you in a second. <laughs> Leave my LPB. Don't know if I mentioned this is my Lucidora para I'm um, not too sure on the sex. Alright, back in a sec. So, this is my Canthus scuria geniculata, um, juvenile female. Um, I'm going to be feeding her something bigger than usual just because she hasn't eat. She didn't eat when I first got her, she didn't eat the week after that, and she um, she's a Canthus scuria, so it should be fine. That, by the way, um, I'm nowhere near, I'm just talking, and that is my Nandu, um, Nandu Chloratovelosis striking the side of her tank because I'm talking. Um, she's not in a good mood. <laughs> yeah, so I'm just talking and she's striking, so if you hear anything like that, it is her. So let's see if this one's hungry. Yep. Easily took it down. Canthus scurriers are really good feeders. Um, never seem to have any problems. They'll take on stuff the same size as them. Um, so yeah, she haven't really kicked much hairs. Um, she seems to be doing perfectly fine. I'm having no problems with her. Um, just keep her relatively dry with a large water bowl. She seems to be doing fine. They were for the water bowl every couple of weeks. And she seems happy with that. So yeah, um, that's her. And she's doing perfectly fine. So yeah. Back in a sec. Usually I'd feed her something a lot bigger, but at the moment she's acting weird. Um, burst of humidity should calm her down a bit and get her back to acting a bit more normal. But I'll just see if she's hungry. Just putting a threat posture at it. She'll probably just strike it and leave it be. What she seems to be doing at the moment. Very gorgeous tarantula just at the moment. She's just not her day. She doesn't seem happy at all. Not going to the hide. She needs more pissed off at me than the locust. As you can see, full threat posture. Not to bother at all. She doesn't. Seems very pissed off at the moment. Um, she's just going for my voice now. She just doesn't like me. Um, I'm gonna leave the locust thing. She might grab it at night, and it, if it's stressing her out, she's just going to hide and chill, and it'll be on the outside probably. So I'm gonna leave her alone with the locust because she's not happy by my voice. Really, is pissing her off. So yeah, I'm gonna leave the locust in with her for a change. See if that improves. Um, if not, in a couple of weeks, I will try crushing it and leave it in, see if that makes her want to eat. But the burst of humidity should calm her down a bit. But yeah, at the moment, she's not happy. Alright, back in a sec. This is my grandma stole Anthracina, looking very red. Mm, should be hungry. Actually, for a threat posture. <laughs> That's quite cute. Folks, that's stupidly good crib. No, just gonna throw a fret posture. I'll crush it and leave it in. It's a bit of an odd one, this. Alright, I'm gonna leave that in with it, water it, and leave it be. Should, we, should eat it. It's a bit shy though. Alright, back in a sec. I knew this would happen. Um, once I go away and she stops stressing out because of my voice, she ate. So Nandu Colorado Velocis did eat in the end. She was just getting stressed out by my voice. So yeah, she should calm down once now she's ate and humidity burst. So she should calm down for the um for um, next feeding video. Alright, back in a sec. 
this is another this is another one of my males that likes to climb out of the tank a lot. Um from Ictopus Concerti is called Nightmare. He's an immature male. Literally everything that I bought at that show. Um I bought like four teas. They've all turned out to be male. <laughs> Not too fussed though, because they are a lovely tease. I see he's hungry. The locust wants to drop. Getting a bit bigger meal at the moment. Oh, should eat it. Let's see why I wouldn't. Stood next to each other. <laughs> yep, I knew we'd eat. Yeah, this is. Um, I do like my males. Um, some of the males I've got. Um, from that show, I think I got. This from Ictopus Conservatives, male. My Pamphetes Fortis that you just saw, male. My Sparboff Rehoff Manny, male. My from Ictopus Platus, male. So all the four teas I got from that show turned out to be male. But not complaining, they're all absolutely gorgeous teas and they're some of my favourites in my collection. So yeah, now wish me luck because I've got to get him down from the corner. <laughs> But yeah, um, I'll move on to the next one, which will be another one of my males I just mentioned. <laughs> Back in a sec. Found one that's a bit better. Found a um, couple of, like, um, like one more, uh, no, well, two more boxes of locust in my cupboard that I didn't know I had. Mm. So being a bit skittish, I'll crush it a bit and leave it in with it. I'm pretty confident it'll eat it. Um, usually it does. Alright, back in a sec. This is my Sacrosterm Smarte at the moment. She's having a drink because I overflowed the water bowl. Um, she's not doing too great. Um, she's a bit lethargic at the moment. I'm going to put a crushed locust in there. I know she is really chubby at the moment. But let's see first if she's hungry. Nope. She is alive, I know she is. Um, she jumped back. She's just very, very placid and calm at the moment. I'm going to throw this locust in. It is crushed. Make sure it's dead. And I'm going to leave her be. She's a very gorgeous tea, but she's not too good at the moment. I'm going to keep my eye on her close, and hopefully she'll pick up. Alright, back in a sec. So you'll be thinking, why are you keeping the lid on? Your Plopa species Columbia Large. Well, I rehoused my female and she's become absolutely evil. Basically, she was hanging off the lid and she was um, trying to strike the lid upside down. So she's turned absolutely crazy. What? Oh, I think she actually got it. Yeah, she caught the head. Sorry, I'll try and get that view. So yeah, sadly she's not in pre mort but um, I'm not going to mate her until she is. Alright, I'm going to leave a bait. She hasn't burrowed again by the way, she's webbed up a lot, but I'm pretty confident she'll burrow again. But yeah, shame she's not in pre mort because I won't be mating her until she molts. Hopefully she'll molt soon. Alright, I'm going to leave a bait and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. As you can see, my Lufus Dephorius has actually got an enclosure upgrade. Um, should be hungry. Oh. Been burrowing. I'll we'll leave it in with that. Could be in pre mort Might not be. Alright, I'm gonna leave it be, but yeah, I had an upgrade. I've still kept its like block because it likes to sit on it, but I've borrowed a bit. Alright, I'm gonna leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. This is my other Avicularia Bronacene. This one seems a lot calmer. Hopefully, it is. Still quite skittish, I'm going to leave it in with it. 
Um, so yeah, I'm going to leave these two be. And it will go for it. I'm pretty confident about that. Alright, I'm going to spray the lid of its enclosure and leave it be. Alright, back in tech. This is one of my Vicularia Bronicelli. And the weird thing about these is I both took them both out and they both seem to be like doing laps around the lid. Um, see if it'll tongue feed. I don't know if you saw that, but just did two laps around the tank and that's on the outside. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop it in. I'm not going to mess about. It's still alive and I'm going to get the tea back in. Um, I'll be back in a second. I'll try it with the second one. Um, I need, remember one of them is very skittish, the other not so much. Alright, back in a sec. So this is my Cerecosmos um, Litsi. Um, in my unpacking video, I said she's nearly full grown. She isn't. She's half grown. Um, I just get my measurements wrong all the time. I'm not too good with them. She's actually looking quite fresh. She hasn't molted, is she? No. She's looking fresh. All right. Let's see if she's hungry. Got some web stuff on it. Yep, she's hungry. <laughs> so yeah, these are about between on speed range. They're about Uafis between Uafis and Holofelli. They're not too fast, and they're a lot more calm than the Holofelli. And they are one of my favourite genus. Genus just um, it took me a while to actually get one. So yeah, she's a confirmed female, and she's about half grown. So yeah, and I'll be back in a sec, and I'll leave this one to eat. Back in a sec. Um, so I'm back. Um, this is my Apache Palma Bromicola, which is a very rare tea once again. Um, I'm one of the few lucky ones to have one in the UK. And mine is a suspect female. And um, um, you may think, oh, this enclosure is really compact. Why don't you have it like Avix? Well, um, from what I've been told, and this is by someone who I trust a lot, um, that they like more enclosed spaces so I've chucked a few more pieces of cot bark in and um, she's nearly fully grown and she's quite pissy mm. I'm gonna chuck it down see if she's hungry come on she might be hungry Isn't she? I'll knock it down one more time. She's webbing up, which is always a good sign with your arboreals, because it means they're quite happy. Well, any tea, if they're webbing up. Also a sign of Primort. Got it out, sorted. So yeah, um, she's down there, um, she doesn't seem interested, she's in suspect pre I'll just double check in. But yeah, um, I'll chuck these other pieces in and hopefully she'll be happy with that. Um, so yeah, nearly fully grown, not far off it. So yeah, I'm going to leave a bee and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. Didn't even realise because I'm a dozy get. <laughs> um, C. Marshall is eight as well, so C. Darlingi and C. Marshall have so yeah, literally, two T's have an eight, and that is my Plopus Tristatus, which is having a standoff at the moment, and the um, C Sandra, but the C Sandra seems to be a bit smaller than the others. Uh, no, the C Marshalli and the C Sandra seem to be about the same size, I think, I can't remember. Prop, can't remember. So yeah, them two, the C Sandra and the... <sighs> The Plopus, the Plopus Gestatus haven't ate yet. Alright, back in a sec. Just thought I'd give a bit of an update. And um, while I was popping them away, I found my Jeepal Cripes has ate. So the only ones that haven't ate are two of the um, Ceratijara, um, Ceratijara, whatever. Ceratijaris, whatever it is, I don't care. I can't think of the name. I think that's wrong. It might be right. But it ain't. Yeah, yeah, um, two of them and the uh, Plopus Tristatus. Oh, actually, is that eight? No, it's still having a standoff. 
All right, I'm William B, and back in a sec. So yeah, Grammar Stole, Paul Cripes, eight. Back in a sec. This is my Vicularia species, Prue Purple. She's quite shy, a bit daft, but nothing too serious. Um, I want to say it's a suspect female, but I have a feeling it's a male. Um, this is this enclosure. <sighs> Super, uh, doing pretty well. And it usually lets me tongue feed it. Yep. Good thing about Avix, they don't mind being fed from tongues usually. So, yeah, a um, very nice tea. Um, become one of my favourites, even though I wasn't that fond of it. Um, I got one since then, I've actually absolutely loved them. Um, doing really well. Um, no problems with species at all. Seems to be perfectly fine. So yeah, I'm gonna leave it be, and I'm gonna go and have a break. Let my phone, uh, my phone, <laughs> my phone charge for a bit. Then finish off a couple of shelves. Then do the last shelf either the end of tonight or tomorrow. So yeah, I will see you in a second. Back in a sec. Damn. So this is my police of helmet species Bolivia. I would advise this species to anyone, they are absolutely gorgeous, um, and they are a lot like the Uaphus, um, not too fast, they're a bit quicker, but um, I don't know if it's just mine, but they seem to be big softies, proper not bothered, unless it shoots off now, as you can see, it's terribly hard to mind to see if it is, really not bothered, but mm, not bothered at all. Raise its abdomen up a bit, but nothing too serious. Should be hungry. As I said before, it's light locked on. <laughs> uh, should take down in a sec. Thing with slings is if you feed them quite big um, food pieces, they're unsure at first, but then literally after that, they will take it down. Um, come on. Oh, I'm pretty confident it'll take it down. In its own time. I have only got one tea left on this shelf, then I'm going to charge my phone, then do a couple more. Um, I'll probably do it in three sections as usual. Do the top shelf. Um, do the side and the bottom because there's not much there, and then do the centre shelf. I'll show you on me in a second. Come on. I shouldn't miss an attack. Oh, trust me to miss an attack. There we go. So, yeah, Placebo, uh, Police of Helmet, Species Bolivia. I really do like these species, the proper softies. At least mine is. So yeah. Oh, and that's when you got the top shelf. That's all the teas that you've pretty much seen now. They're off there. Then we have the middle. That one's not got much on. That one's only got two, two and one. That's my millipedes, corroaches, and my desert scorpion, which is fed completely different to my other scorpions. <laughs> Quite elk this tank. So yeah, I'm going to feed my Avic species Pro purple, have a break, then do a couple more. By the way, them two over there are my Lassiodora Tibune and my Acanthoscoria Aatrox. There will be a multi video just up before this, and I'd watch it if I was you, because there's a, some real... <sighs> God, there's some, there, there's some really good news, so yeah, go and watch that. <laughs> so yeah, doing pretty well so far, I think. Four haven't ate so far, so yeah, doing pretty well. Alright, back in a sec. So this is my Frick Spelma Octi. Getting quite big now. Should be hungry. It is about the same size as it, but I'm pretty confident it'll take it down. Yep, I was gonna get it. When they put the pedi palps on it, it's like they've hooked onto it pretty much. And it's 
down. <laughs> so yeah, this is my Fix Palm Octu and no clue what the sex is, which is a very nice little tea and it is growing like a weed. So yeah, gonna leave it be and move on to the next one. Back in a sec. I got him back and he's on his wander again. Should be hungry. He's a funny little man. I'm gonna drop that in. I'm pretty confident the elite he's just in a wandering mood and obviously it's doing my head in. Yeah, just in a bit of a wandering mood. He um is a suspect male because his growth rate and he's absolutely cute. <laughs> Completely harmless. Alright. I'm going to attempt to get him back in his enclosure. Then I'll move on to the next one as well. Back in a sec.